if you're not ready for a relationship, if you know deep down at your core that you're not ready for a relationship, don't put yourself in that situation. Do that person a favor by not getting yourself in a situation. You must be on your purpose, fellas. Ladies, gentlemen, women, are not in love with the the struggle grind. They kind of want you already there. When you're going through a struggle and a grind, it is a small number of women that I know that will stick it through with your struggle. Because at the end of the day, they don't care about your struggle. So that's why you have to, you gotta push yourself. All right, YouTube, go ahead and hit the like button. Also, do not forget, to subscribe to my YouTube page. Don't forget to subscribe to my Patreon for more exclusive content. Gentlemen, I'm going to go ahead and talk about my previous relationships and some of the biggest mistakes I made. And I truly hope you gentlemen can learn from this video. Well, one thing about me is I never struggled getting women. I never struggled to get in relationships. One of my biggest issues in my last relationship was the fact that I was emotionally inadequate. You know, I didn't lead her correctly. I was too emotional. Um, she was an emotional woman, and then I was an emotional guy, and that didn't mesh. We both had strong personalities. I was just all over the place emotionally. You know, I just lost a father figure. I was, you know, moving to a brand new city in Miami, just still trying to figure out, figure out who I was as a person, trying to figure out my life. Um, I was in the midst of my football career, so I was so busy. So many things were happening around that time period. And my emotional needs at the time was to be in relationships, to fill that missing void that I thought I was missing. When in actuality, as a man, you must fulfill that on your own. You must fulfill that with God. You must fulfill that with your confidence and your grind and your purpose. But I was looking for relationships, so I wanted to use all that energy on relationships. So. And I caught myself making stupid decisions. I caught myself making emotional-based decisions on everything. You know, whenever she felt a type of way, I felt the type of way. Whenever she was happy, I was happy. So she pretty much led the relationship. That turned her off, but she still stuck around with me, I guess because she saw my potential. But I just wasn't ready. I definitely was not ready at the time. But honestly, I think that experience, because that experience taught me so much about myself, things about myself that I didn't realize, and um, a lot of the stupid mistakes I made, or a lot of my default mechanisms that I, you know, exhibited in that relationship. As far as financially, I was financially irresponsible. I wasn't even making close to the income that an average man would make. I was making like $14 an hour, you know, only getting every two weeks, maybe $900 or $1,000 every two weeks. Um, I was also working security at the arena. So, you know, I was working two different jobs, but still wasn't enough to provide for a relationship. But and I couldn't even take care of myself. I was staying in the studio at the time. And then I shortly moved to a one bedroom apartment, but I still wasn't was financially responsible. I was just getting started in my life. I was 25, 26 years old. You know, actually, I was 26. You know, I was still trying to figure out my life. When I was in that relationship, man, I had horrible leadership qualities, man. You know, my ex-girlfriend wanted me to leave and I wasn't ready to leave. You know, she wanted me to be the man and I wasn't ready to be the man. The only, only time I was a man was in the bedroom. But outside of that, I was irresponsible. Um, I was overly emotional. Um, a lot of decisions I made were not based off logic. I had no type of boundaries. I was a bona fide set. I literally was let her leave. You know what I'm saying? I let her choose where we can eat. And even looking back, I think, man, she really stuck through with me because I was definitely not ready. <laughs> but I learned, I learned. I felt like at that time, I truly believe I fell in love with the idea of being with this person. I was really just younger, I was just not ready. And that's why I always advise you gentlemen, man, you have to be emotionally ready, you have to be financially ready. You gotta have great leadership skills and you definitely cannot be a set. Fellas, you gotta plan dates. You gotta be strategic with every approach. You must watch a woman. You must teach a woman things. If you're not able to teach a woman anything, then you're done. She won't respect you. Gentlemen, you gotta step your foot down. You gotta have boundaries. I didn't have boundaries. I was a yes man. I did everything that she wanted me to do. I put her before my purpose. She was a more of a priority than everything else. And literally, she wanted me to be the man. She wanted me to have boundaries. She was giving me all the signs, but I continued to ignore it because I thought that being a sweet, nice, caring all the time, not focus on my purpose, not focus on the drive, just me focusing on her was the right thing to do. Gentlemen, that's being a simp. I was a bona fide simp. You know, I'm 30 years old. I'm 
going to be 31 later this year. And I look back, I'm like, man, I would never put myself in that situation again. I always tell gentlemen, man, if you're not ready for a relationship, if you know deep down at your core that you're not ready for a relationship, don't put yourself in that situation. Do that person a favor by not getting yourself in a situation. You must be on your purpose, fellas. Ladies, gentlemen, women are not in love with the, the struggle grind. They kind of want you already where you're at. They kind of want you already there. When you're going through a struggle and a grind, it is a small number of women that I know that will stick it through with your struggle. Because at the end of the day, they don't care about your struggle. So that's why you have to, you gotta push yourself. And I learned my lesson. I didn't lead properly. I didn't look at the signs. I mean, I remember one relationship I had with this one girl. She literally just wanted to kick it and I wanted to be in a relationship. And then when she didn't want to be in a relationship with me, I spazzed out on her, overly emotional, because I fell in love with the idea of being with her, but I didn't fall in love with her because I was trying to fill that missing void. And that's why I thank God, number one, and the number two, therapy. That really woke me up. That really taught me a lot about myself. My depression really taught me about myself. And that's why I'm so passionate about this topic fellas because i've made so many mistakes i didn't understand or accept women nature at the time i knew who they were at their core but i didn't want to accept it gentlemen so that's why i highly advise you all before you get yourself in a serious committed relationship you got to be mostly ready you gotta be financially ready. You gotta have great relationship qualities. And most importantly, your mental health has to be on point. You gotta be stoic. You gotta be poised. You gotta be solution oriented. Women are gonna look up to you to figure things out. Gentlemen, focus on being a superior man. Don't be an average guy. From a mentality standpoint, from a financial standpoint, from an emotional standpoint, from a spiritual standpoint, you wanna be superior in all four of those categories. So gentlemen, stay on your purpose. Your purpose comes first. Go ahead and hit the like button. Also do not forget, to subscribe to my page.